Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PS1 disc review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Gauntlet Legends, which if you've never played it before, it's um, hard to see. It's probably more like an arcade game because that's what the original Gauntlet was like and this is very similar but it's not the exact same game. There's less levels, there's save options and stuff like that now. So at the start you simply have a new game, you can look at your controls and that or you can load the game. Now loading the game is done in an odd way because you don't save the game, you save the character and you save the character because the character levels up and stuff like that so basically whatever they've got access to then the other characters will have access to even if they haven't beat the levels I believe I think that's how it works because as I say you're basically saving the character and not the game and the character levels up on that but I'll get into that in a little bit just when I go into the level but basically here's the uh, world hub and you've got a shop there and on the shop you can buy all sorts of items to help you out you can for example just buy extra health or you can buy actual power ups and stuff so I can afford this so I'll buy that because that's a cool item to show off um, yes go back now uh, you can buy keys if you need keys you can buy phoenix familiars and stuff like that um, so that's pretty much that there's like spells and stuff like that they all come in really handy but the best time to use them is actually on the bosses so I'll show off a boss, but for now I'll just go on to the first level, so I'll just cut into that. So here we go then, this is the first level, and immediately you'll notice how it's like Gauntlet, but not like Gauntlet, because it's in 3D, the levels are much more expansive, they're not particularly mazes anymore, they are actual levels and they do look it. You can still get keys though to open treasure chests, and sometimes treasure chests are actually booby traps and that, and they screw you over. You can still get keys obviously to open the doors, but not every door needs to be open, just like on the original Gauntlet. So for example you've got that gate there, but if you actually just take your time to walk around then you can get to the same place. So the doors are basically there, some you have to go through, but some are just simply there for convenience and if you want to be easier on the level. And also, like, just like the original Gauntlet, there's enemies which come out of bases and you've got to destroy the bases in order to stop the enemies coming out. But the enemies have different levels and you can sometimes, for example, just knock a level down on the base so it produces weaker enemies but still the goal is obviously to destroy the actual bases. The enemies change between different worlds and that so there's all sorts of stuff and there's even death there who can, again, pretty much only be killed by the potion. I know on the original it was uh, killed by the potion or just after he drains an amount of health. But this one, the health is so important, more important than the originals, because every time you played the originals, unless you played the true arcade original, then you could pretty much just increase your health as much as you want to. This, you can't do that, there's no button to just keep increasing health, because it's not an arcade game, well, to be fair, I think it did actually come out in the arcades, but it's not done that style, so you do have to actually take care of yourself and basically just be better than you were in the original game, because you can't just well basically be reckless and run through a lot of people and just think well I can punch them it doesn't matter if I lose health I can push a button you do have to be careful at the end of a level you basically it comes up how many kills and experience you got and gold and stuff like that and you can then just choose to continue or save your character the experience is now going to get me onto the levels basically it's like an RPG style game where your character actually levels up and the more levels they've got the more powerful they become the faster the better at magic stuff like that and the weapons will become better and you can get a familiar to help you out which basically just sits around or flies around or whatever and just fires with you as well so you can get double shots and stuff like that so it's really cool thing because it gives you more reason to replay and play with others as well because you'll be getting stronger from your own save file but then there's also these bosses which I did see I'd show off there's um, something you can do on this one that you couldn't on the others you can basically use a turbo by holding down the square button you can also though do special powers and basically the green bar is level 1 special power the yellow bar is level 2 special power and the red bar is level 3 special power but uh, as I was saying though, there's also a lot of special items so I'll put some of them on now so for example you've got the 3 shot there you've uh, just remembering what button actually changes what you can switch on this which to be fair I can't remember what this is I think it's some sort of uh, invisibility to help you out you can switch on fire shields and all you can switch on fire breath you can get a familiar here as well so it's now flying around as just like uh, well it would is if I'd actually leveled up and got the familiar you can get that hammer which uh, the hammer basically you slam that down on the ground and it hurts the enemies but basically the bosses are as you might have already noticed are actually really tough they can kick the crap out of you they've got a huge amount of health so you're best off instead of fighting the bosses just going through the worlds leaving the bosses to find the special items because the special items are basically take something like I don't know if it's a third or half of their health in all honesty I try not to use them because it does make them a hell of a lot easier and I do like the challenge 
but for example there's things like a scimitar, a magic book, a um, ice axe and stuff like that and it'll basically take a massive chunk of energy off the boss and then it's just easier to defeat him because obviously he's already lost loads of energy so they do come in handy and they're found all throughout the game there's basically I think the ice axe is actually on the fourth world and stuff like that and the, the scimitar which kills the air uh, I can't remember what the scimitar kills but basically that's on the first world even though I think the boss is the third world and stuff like that so it's one of those you just have to keep going through the levels until you can unlock other worlds and then basically go back and fight the bosses because you unlock the worlds by finding the obelisks which are basically hidden throughout the levels so it's one of those, the first uh, world has three throughout four levels, or uh, might be five levels, I can't remember if the fifth level is just the boss but um, you find those three and then it allows you to open up the next world and then you find them on the next world and it allows you to open up the next world so on and so forth as I did say, there's portions on the game and you can now do different things with the portions. You can push uh, X and circle and you'll throw a portion, or at least you will when it works, that's just using a portion normally. But X and circle throws a portion towards the enemies, square and circle does a shield, and circle on its own just uses the portion. There's nothing really left for us to actually see it other than, uh, to be fair, the levels on that. But for now, I'll let you listen to some music, watch the really poor visuals, and then I'll just get back to saying about the levels and stuff. So that was a bit of the music and you also might have saw that yes death does indeed die after he drains a certain amount of health because I was too busy showing off the portions that I didn't save myself one so it kind of got a little stuck. You also might have noticed the get big enemies which are basically the golems and they're very tough they can't half kick the crap out of you so you have to be careful with them. But uh, anyway, on to the levels, and you may be thinking I've already mentioned them, I have, for a choice of words, I should have said actual stages, because it's like, uh, I think it's 25 of original stages, then there's a lot of secret stages as well, then there's the bosses, and uh, I think there's something like five different bosses on the game, it's uh, five bosses, but I think there's six boss fights, because you fight one of them twice, I believe, so there is, there is actually quite a lot to do, especially because there's also eight characters. There's basically the four original characters, the elf archer, the um, warrior, the valkyrie, and the wizard who as you might have already guessed basically have different things so the archers basically got better speed the wizards got better magic the warriors are stronger and the valkyries got better defense but as well as that you can also find bonus games which are in the levels and after you beat a bonus game and collect all the coins and that you unlock another character and it's basically the same characters but slightly different so for example the, the uh, one I'll just quickly cut to and show off is the warrior but he's actually a minotaur so there we go then, that's basically as I say the warrior minotaur type thing. I'm pretty sure the others are an eagle for the valkyrie, a tigress for the elf and a jackal for the wizard I think anyway. I can't remember because there's also a second game which has everything this game has and then more. So if you're interested in this game watch the other review first and you'll see why when I actually do the other review. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well, that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well, that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.